You've been there. Making your way through traffic and cringing at the amount of time it takes to go just a few miles. In San Antonio, there isn't a more challenging corridor than Bandera Road from I-410 to Loop 1604. While you're sitting in traffic, the frustration you experience can lead you to wonder if and how the traffic signals are timed and what more can be done to make your commute bearable. Together, let's dive deeper and learn about the basics of how traffic signals work, the challenges that are unique to SH-16 Bandera Road, and how your voice can be part of the solution. First, let's talk about traffic signals. When traffic backs up, our first thought is usually that the traffic signal is to blame. A signal phase is the total green, yellow, or red times assigned to a specific traffic movement. Each phase is timed to move a certain amount of traffic safely and effectively. You may also wonder what determines the amount of time allowed during each signal phase. It's the amount of cars on the road that determines the green, yellow, and red signal times for each phase. The total time it takes to serve all signal phases for every approach and traffic movement at an intersection is a cycle length. Although you may feel like the cycle length is contributing to the delay in your commute, you'd be surprised to know that during the morning and evening commutes, an average of 5,000 vehicles can pass through a signalized intersection in one hour. Currently, traffic signals are synchronized on Bandera Road. This means that the green light timing is coordinated for a series of intersections to maximize the number of vehicles that will encounter green lights at multiple intersections in a row. This reduces stops and delays and ensures a better flow of traffic while minimizing gas consumption and pollutant emissions. If you're traveling during a peak time when the volume of traffic exceeds an intersection's capacity, it may not seem like the signals are synchronized. The truth is, they are. Let's take a look at the intersections of Bandera Road at Grissom and Poss Roads during off-peak traffic hours. You'll notice vehicles going the speed limit rarely hit a red light. When traffic picks up and more people are on the road, drivers cannot reach the intended speed limit and synchronization is now disrupted. You may be thinking, if traffic signals are synchronized, why hasn't that solved the problem? Let's dive in a bit further and tackle the biggest factor, traffic. High volumes of traffic, compounded by heavy left turning movements and outdated intersection configurations, can interfere with signal efficiency and synchronization. It may not surprise you to learn that the heaviest periods of traffic on Bandera Road are from 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. and from 5.45 to 6.45 p.m. Although congestion can be seen along most of the corridor, critical intersections like Grissom Road, Eckert, Gilbo and Mainland experience significant congestion. Bandera Road from Gilbo Road to I-410 carries between 38,000 to 72,000 vehicles per day. On the high end, that's about as much traffic as SH-151 carries from I-410 to US-90. Bandera Road is unlike any other road in Texas. Why not adjust signal synchronization? Adjusting traffic signals would actually increase delays. If green time is pulled from one area and added somewhere else, this causes a chain reaction at other intersections along the corridor. Let's look at what happens when we add 10 additional seconds of green time to Bandera Road at Eckert intersection during morning peak time. Notice that cars begin to back up, not only at the intersection, but along the side streets as well. The result? Only six to eight eastbound cars cleared the intersection and 19 vehicles were left to wait in queue. If you were at this intersection right now, you would sit through two to three complete traffic signal cycles to move past the intersection. Although the challenges are great, there are promising opportunities to provide relief from congestion and enhance mobility and safety. 
the Texas Department of Transportation, TxDOT, in cooperation with the cities of Leon Valley and San Antonio, has initiated a project to analyze potential transportation-related improvements on SH-16 Bandera Road from I-410 to Loop 1604 within the cities of Leon Valley and San Antonio. Over the next few months, TxDOT will be working with stakeholders to identify and explore possible solutions for Bandera Road. This is where you come in. Lend your voice to keep Bandera Road moving. The solutions you help shape will be modeled for future traffic conditions to identify which offers the best opportunity to improve mobility and safety for Bandera Road. Working together, we can transform the Bandera Road experience. For more information, visit www.text.gov and do a keyword search for SH16 Bandera Road.